Hello everybody and welcome back. As promised, this is the Hawken open beta test and I'm going to be doing a review about it. So what you're seeing right now on the screen is usually uh, what you'll see when you log in the first time and for a matter of fact anytime. And it will show your mechs that you have bought or that's in your garage and then the mech store and this is where you buy your mechs. Now the new one that they've added is a technician which is like a healer. And like most of these mechs, they are all different. Um, you have some scouts, you have big gigantic ones that shoot grenades or like rockets. It's really awesome. So they do cost a hefty penny to buy, but after winning like a few games, um, you should be able to buy them no problem. So, as you can see, um, I forgot, the test drive. So sometimes they'll have a mech for you to test drive, and as, and as it sounds like, you can play it without buying it until the expiry date, and then once then, hopefully they'll let you be able to buy it. So, with that, this one is your starting mech, and it actually is pretty good. I mean, if you don't want to buy anything, you could probably survive with this. Seriously. Sharpshooter is the sniper, and I will show this for the customization. Here you can rename your sharpshooter. I decided to just keep it that way. Here is your primary weapon, which is usually a gun um, that either can fire rapidly or slowly. Here is the offensive weapons. Uh, you can deploy these. I don't know what's the default key because I don't really have it. Uh, any that I bought. But usually the MG turrets or the R turrets are widely used. The support items will differ. I mean, you can buy whatever one you want, but as a starting, they will differ between each mechs. And with a sharpshooter, you get a hologram. And basically, it's there to distract the enemy, obviously. Your starting one will have a shield, and this will basically block any incoming attacks uh, if you're inside the shield. Enemies can go inside your shield and kill you, so that's something to be aware of. Um, these are just usable items. I've never used them yet, so I really can't tell you much uh, information about it, sorry. You also have these armors, or add-ons, I guess you can say. And when you buy a new mech, because I think in the, um, the starting one you get, yeah, you already get, um, the upgrades for it, or armor. When you buy a new one, you kind of need to, uh, buy it. <laughs> so, each one will have a different stats, and usually you will just buy according to how you play. Upgrades come as the, as you level up. Body shop is just ex aesthetics. And you buy these with, um, kind of real money, so to say. Style. The paint pattern you do have to buy, but if you just want to um, change your colors kind of on these little stripes, you can via here. And then optimize is your skills, skill tree. So here you can clear it. You don't need any items or anything to clear out your tree. So any at any time you feel like, oh, I want to change my play, my play style, you know, you, you're free to do it. Um, I don't know if they're going to change it. I hope they don't because, I mean... I'm pretty sure people are just wanting to test try different builds. So I'm just going to show... Oh, and you can revert back to what you had before, just in case you didn't want to change it. But I'm going to show you how the skill tree works. So basically you need 5 points in, either, in order to proceed to the next um, set of skills. And as you can see, it opens it. Now if for some reason you don't like the skills, you can put it on the first one and it'll kind of add to... Uh, to your points actually to go to the next tier so I don't have like enough I just need like what two more but I don't have any points so I'm just gonna revert back since that's how I wanted it next thing is the play so this is where you'll start your training and videos on how to play certain modes your quick matches allow you to quickly get into a game and then your server browsers is just to browse for a game. So your team death matches are just um, fighting. There's no objective, just to kill the other opponent. Uh, team death match, either if you're in a 24 person match, 
you have to kill 75 opponents as a team. And then if you're in the 12 man match, you just need to kill 50 opponents. Deathmatch, I'm not really sure. I don't really play um, it that much. For the missile assaults, this is kind of like capture the point. So you and your opponent will have a base and that base consists of some kind of defense points. Let's say 8,000. And so you need to capture these missile missiles, um, turret uh, spots, I guess, if you want to call it that. And the more you have, obviously, the faster the other uh, enemy's defense will go down, and vice versa. And whoever reaches a zero, loses. Siege is something really awesome. Um, basically, you gather, the, uh, you gather energy from a location, and then you go to a different location to drop off that energy. And once you have 800 points of this energy, your base will send out a mothership. And at that time, the opponent can't send out a mothership. And vice versa also. So this mothership travels across the map, literally, onto the other side, the enemy side, and starts shooting the buildings of theirs. Um, so their defense goes down. At this point, you can either... Uh, defend the anti-air base from the uh, enemy so that, that it doesn't shoot your mothership down and if that doesn't work for the enemy they can literally just shoot it at the um, the mothership also the mothership does have uh, turrets on there to shoot down the enemy so the enemies can shoot the turrets to kind of disable them and um, but I mean, it's a pretty cool game mode. I I don't play a lot of FPS, but I've never seen anything like it. So I'm going to just quickly go into a team deathmatch and hopefully they won't put me into a game that's already going to end very soon. So here I'm finally in a match. So before you actually get onto the playing field, you can choose what mech you want to use. And every time you die, you can change the mech depending on the situation. I'm going to start out with the sharpshooter since there is a couple of things that it has that uh, the recruit assault doesn't have. So with the sharpshooter, obviously it's a sniper, so we do have the option to zoom in. And you, while you're zoom in, you don't even you can use both your weapons, left and right weapons. You're not um, kind of restricted to only use your sniper. go um so it's not obviously good for short range combat but if you do somehow get into that situation it doesn't actually do a heck of a bad job since the um the main weapon does quite a lot of damage if you're lucky so here you can see these um kind of orbs oh god and if a rocket is coming to you try to side dodge it I don't really do a good job with that. There you go. The little orbs are energies that you can pick up or just stand around and it will start healing you as you can see. Now it won't heal you all the way, it will heal, heal you a bit. There's somebody there. I got it. So I'm just going to show one more thing. You can heal while you're in game. And this is, this is good if you are not even around action. Oh god, even when you aren't, there's somebody there. Oh, somebody save me. Um, killing wise, it's based on whoever gets the last um, hit on the player. Uh, even if you did the most amount of damage, whoever gets the last hit gets the kill. Uh, sadly, but fortunately you still get an assist for helping. And even with assist, you can get um, EXP and money on him just being blocked. Uh, you can do- you can have uh, fall damage if you fall from a great height, which does happen sometimes uh, if you're trying to get it like on a ledge and um, you're just not making it. There we go. The turrets um, are kind of flimsy. That's why you need somebody to protect it or like kind of go with it to shoot. I'm going to 
This is another use for their shield. You can put down the shield and be inside it to heal if uh, you don't want to run away far. Um, I don't think there is anything else to talk about. If you guys want to... Oh, I killed him. Awesome, I think. No, I didn't. Somebody just... If you want to see me play more of this game, then I don't mind. Because uh, I really like this game. I've been playing for about two weeks. The community is really nice as far as I'm concerned at the moment. I haven't seen anything bad happen. And your special item doesn't actually replenish all the way. Um, I don't really understand how it works still, the special item. But, yeah. So, again, if you are interested, I mean, go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link down to the, um, to the website where you can register and download. It is free to play, and I, d I haven't heard anything about it going paid to play. I mean, it's a wonderful game, even for free to play. I'm really like just amazed by it so again um i'm not gonna speak for that long because i don't want it to be overly long and have you guys sit through like 20 or even 30 minutes of me just playing this at the moment so i will leave it there i do actually i do have one more um kind of hint and advice um and it has to do with the uh, graphics cards and something. Uh, when you finish the game and um, you get to go to the scoreboard, on the background you see these like heating, not heating, but of, like air vents that are s steaming out smoke. And this uh, part of the game and the lobby especially before just overheated my graphics card. It was literally going to 100 almost and my graphics card at m in normal, and its normal temperature can be at 90 and it'll be fine. Um, but it was like almost going to 100. So what you want to do if that is happening to you, is you go to settings, video settings, and then you want to click on VSync. This will save your graphics card and do a whole lot of wonders. So that's like the only last tidbit that I need to share with you guys. So I will see you guys later. Look out for my um, RO. Uh, review that I will do coming soon and I will see you later oh no no I want to get a kill oh okay bye you guys